Hey everybody, hello. Okay, so I wanted to share with you all what I recently discovered about the mouse buttons. Okay, so in order to get the mouse buttons to work and in your program, <laughs> you need a mouse buttons callback function, which which the, um, what do they call it, the, not the parameters, uh, call it with the prototype. Prototype looks like this. GLFW window pointer window, int, int, int. Okay, you can call the ints whatever you want. Okay, uh, and then I created a cursor color, uh, just three floats, and I put it in a uniform in the vertex shader, and then I changed the result of the conf of the uh, if statement to our color equals cursor color, <coughs> and then I defined the uh, mouse button callback. This is very important because I was just reading the. Uh, this red book, official guide to learning OpenGL. Yeah, right. Anyways, they got the uh, the callback function all wrong. They literally say that you're supposed to set window size callback in there. Put it in there. Tried to get it to work. It told me it was wrong. I actually looked up the GLFW documentation under mouse button input, and it tells you how to do it. It's better. So we're going with the documentation on that one. Oops. Okay. So then you. Uh, then you set mouse callback, button callback, window comma, m buttons callback, which is what I happen to call the function in this case. Uh, then we're going down here, da 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 da, what else did I do? Um, define them initially to be one, so the cursor should be white. And then in the callback, or wait, here's the where I pass the uh, cursor color into the uniform. I pass three floats into the uniform, okay? And then down here, uh, here's the actual M buttons callback that I just made. So window button action mods. Okay, so um, this is just for my troubleshooting, which I never actually needed to use that. So we can just go like that. So if the button equals GLFW mouse button left and action equals press, the button gets pressed, then it goes to black. If it gets released, it goes to white. Save it, compile it run it. Here we go. So it's released, it's on white, it's pressed, now it's black. Isn't that cool? Okay. Alright, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave your comments in the section below the video.